Hello, and welcome to In Art Media. In Art Media. One of my favorite playwrights of all time. How, you How doing? are you? Great to see you. Good to see you also. Yes, yes. I have some questions I want to ask sure, you. Sure, sure. Tell me. Tell me. Okay. What is your meaning of life? My meaning of life. Oh, that's a meaning of life. Uh, I think everyone has a purpose, and we all put here to accomplish something. And are you an artist? Um, as Lorraine Hansberry said, I am bodacious enough <laughs> to call myself an artist. Definitely. <laughs> Well, right now, we're uh, in rehearsal for a play called The Guest of Central Park West that I wrote. Um, which happens to be, which happens to be we're right here on Central Park West in front of the museum, and there's uh, something very dramatic that happens in the play that has to do with the statue behind us, where you see Teddy Roosevelt on a uh, Native American on the other side, an African slave on this side. Well, Terrence is homeless, um, a, a brilliant man that fell on bad times, and I have actually had the opportunity over the years of, um, you know, I'm also a performer and uh, actor, and I've gone into prisons and homeless shelters, and I've met people who have felt fallen on bad times, and it's amazing to hear their stories, because most people, um, they become invisible. People want to walk by them. You know, people want to act like, as if they don't exist and they don't know their story. So I decided to take a story, you know, um, a creative story, you know, and take some of the uh, images that I got from uh, interviewing and seeing some of these homeless you people. Know, and, and it takes place in the home of a professor who has just won a Nobel Peace Prize. Okay. And um, he is getting death threats. Um, because, as he says in the play, you know, there are people out there who can't imagine what it is to live in a world without violence. And um, so anyway, you know, he, and also, you know, the freedom of speech, you know, issue there, you know, um, it is a reference to Salman Rusty, you know, who went into hiding because he wrote a book, you know, and so is that kind of thing with this character, uh, with the death threats and all of that. And um, they, they get, they're having a private dinner party and they get an unexpected visitor who turns the whole evening upside down. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anger. It's gonna be woke up at 3 a.m. in the morning. By a policeman poking you in the ribs with a nightstick. Yeah. Telling you the Central Park bench ain't no damn hotel. Get up and get out or we gonna lock you up and take you down to Central Anger Park. Anger is running from one side of the city to the next. Praying in an open finer. soup kitchen, cause who cares if a poor man anger is the motherfucking bus and train fare going up another 50 cents when they're making money off of millions of people riding mass transit every day. And the shit is always delayed. <laughs> About the lack of hospital and medical care. And it raids, and they let some racist cowboy become the leader of what's supposed to be the greatest country and what's supposed to be the free world. That ain't none of the blacks and Latinos ain't locked up in the prison system. Ain't locked up in the prison system. Police see you as guilty before proving you're innocent. You ain't angry. How much money you got is more important than what kind of 